CS5, CS4, etc., PC or Mac. You can use the layer comp palette. Here's a layer comp palette. Window, layer comps, if you haven't got it displayed, with the Photoshop custom shapes. Now I'm going to go to the custom shape tool, then go over to the custom shapes. I'm going to select a custom shape, just one of these designs. These are from graphicextras.com, X shapes. But of course, you could use one of the ones here if you wish. Right, select that. Now, to actually work, you have to use it as a shape layer. So I'm just going to select the shape layer option and just going to quickly draw custom shape. Now, in the layer comps, you can do new layer comp. That's an option there. And you can apply it to layers the visibility, position, appearance, layer style. Now, obviously, if you set those off, you just go there, nothing will be no use whatsoever. But if you select the visibility, position, appearance, you can basically store, obviously, if it's visible, or the position, like the location where it is in the, in the actual document, or the appearance, which is the layer style. So if you add a layer style to it, which I haven't done at this point, but I will in the next comp, click OK. I'm just going to quickly update that. One thing I always forget is to update the thing. So update. Now I'm going to quickly select it, and I'm going to position it, layer, layer style, and I'm going to add it to it, uh, drop shadow, just very basic, as well as a gradient overlay. Click OK, and I'm going to create a new comp for that, new layer comp, gain, save the visibility, position, and appearance, and just going to update that, just to make certain it's all stored. I'm just going to move it, and go to the layer, layer style, and I'm going to change the gradient overlay to a different design. So just select that one. Just move that up. Click OK. And I'm going to create a new layer comp. Again, save all the various settings. Click OK. Update. Now, once you've done all that, you can actually go through the layer comp. So I'm just going to just quickly show you. Just basically just click this side bit. Will go through it shows you that it actually has stored the custom shape position. Now, of course, great for like animations or whatever, you can go through those. But next thing, you can obviously, also you can show to uh, a customer that uh, say you've got this design, you, this is how you can lay it out. Maybe obviously, you've got something more in the background, you're going to show position of the uh, design. You know, will it work better here? Will it work better there? And those sort of things. So you can just quickly show people run through the various options. Now also you can go to the file and you can go for scripts and there's a wonderful option here, layer comps to files. And I'm just going to select that and just set a folder, a destination for it, a name, obviously a file type, include various information if you wish and then I'm just going to quickly show you run it just runs through it, just does all the various shapes. And then if you go, I'm just going to go to that folder. Obviously it's got some movies as well, but it's actually got the, the PSD files now. The comp ones have been saved as PSD files. So again, useful for you know saving, displaying to people, or maybe animations or other, other things.